Howdy all, welcome back to more for Troubleshooter. I am the Black Shadow. So, uh, last time we began our journey into Chapter 5, a pretty uh, long, drawn-out affair, admittedly, um, taking on some of the uh, the smuggling rings that are operating here in the Windward District, and I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty more of them before all is said and done. There's no cutscene here, by the way, I was just wondering. Uh, our roster, I've gone through a couple of changes. I had some techniques uh, here and there. I can't quite remember the changes I made. It's the next day. Uh, I'm sure it was something very useful and entertaining. Let's see if I can quickly remember what I've got on you, Albus. Ah, that was it, yes. Albus is rocking sword manual now. I've taken off the uh, bleeding, bleeding tech here. And I've given him sword manual. And I've also given him haze by putting on a strategic retreat here as well. Haze reducing melee attack damage. Uh, but sword manual is pretty fun. Uh, it's 70% per every currently applied swordsman, great swordsman, or magic knight mastery. Of which we have... Um, we got quite a lot. And I think it also counts these sets as well. I'm pretty sure it also counts these. The end result for Albus is... Uh, yeah. It's... Um, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he crits for nearly quadruple damage. Uh, <laughs> it is completely absurd. Kind of makes you not want to take off the Iliwote here, seeing as that's adding 80% and 50% crit chance in the first place. Um, so while we don't have the biggest attack power, basically we're just looking to crit dudes and just absolutely crush them. Um, which obviously isn't always possible, but uh, when it does, it's pretty damn good here. The only other changes to make mention of here, there's not too much going on. Uh, Sun actually even put the point on because he's full. I need him to basically pick up this so I can put on something else. Uh, Irene has been changed like slightly with something. Oh, Undefeated's on. That's right. I, I uh, made a change. I think I took off something somewhere. I can't quite recall. But I've now got um, put Veteran on for her. So she's immune to all stuns, which is good. She's also immune to burning as well. Uh, but Undefeated's pretty good. So she gets SP for uh, dodges, and she gets time reductions now for any for Stormant or counter-attack kills, which is pretty good. Um, and I actually, I actually did another mission off-screen, and I've actually have now maxed out Anne's uh, Witch thing. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep the Witch on for the rest of this chapter, because it's not too bad. I've done a lot of White Mage, so it'd be nice to taste a little bit. Differences here. So the the t the things we haven't got for us, the rest of force we've seen. Uh, Vindictive Spirit is her penultimate uh, ability here, which is pretty crazy. So if you get put out of action, um, you basically control the person that took you over for a bit, which is pretty insane. I've I don't think it's everything I've ever really put on. Um, maybe there's some mastery sets of it. I have no idea. I might play this a little bit, but uh, that's pretty crazy. And the bit, the end at the end is the Witch's Book here. Uh, damage dealt by ESP, attack ability increases by 5% for every Shaman and Witch Master, of which we have quite a few. Um, and I'm tempted to put on, but the problem is I'd need to play around with stuff here. And I didn't quite get around to that. Uh, I've got Veteran on her as well, currently. But it's not applying for anything. I'm actually, let's just do this now. Wait, can I actually even make Witch's Book? I have no idea. I'd need Shaman and Understanding. I'm pretty sure I can do that. Let's do this very quickly. Oh, but yeah, I went and did uh, a mission off-screen. I went and did the uh, the whole... I basically just need a load of materials for making stuff. So I just went and did the previous... Um, what should we call it? Uh, chapter mission with like all the, the mass and like the negories and stuff and it's still pretty brutal um, and basically just bowed into that so uh, that looks good to me. It's got loads of beast mastery, it's got loads of things. I was busy making stuff. Uh, let's go put it this in then. I've got to drop something else though. That's pretty useful. I don't really want to turn that off. Uh, Awaken would be kind of good for you, though. It's fine. Let's drop that and put on Witch's Book, then. And uh, up her ESP attack ability, which could be fun. There we go. Then again, there probably are some mastery sets of this stuff. I might play around at some point in the future. So, put that on. And 
Uh, hiding has been changed slightly, I think, with something I don't quite recall anymore. <laughs> um, the problem with Hizing, he just doesn't have a lot of slots as the issue, especially defense. Like, he could do some really good stuff here. Um, so, this is a way for me to get some more slots on people, which I can't really do at the moment. I'm going to have to play around with that, which is an issue. Uh, and Ray. Well, we had a good example of what Ray can do now, and she is very, very scary. So, um, I don't think there's anything too much changed here. Nothing too much. Oh, and Giselle has some stuff as well. So, basically, that's all. I've, I've changed people's equipment. Updated it a bit. But nothing, nothing too drastic has changed, as you would expect. So, uh, everything is uh, fairly happy. What is... Um, Irene's rocking some health now as well. Uh, what are you rocking? 87%. Uh, yeah, ESP power of 1,200. It's pretty crazy. I think she's actually rivaling Sion here. Yeah, Sion's at 1,291. Um, and she's not far behind, so she hits really hard. But the problem is her hit chance is not great. Uh, I've also made a change as well for Anne. Um, I've actually put on the Constricting Root instead of the Explosion ability. Just want to give it a spin, see what it's like. So this is just an experimental, basically, chapter for Anne. We will probably return to White Mage down. So with that done, what we're going to be doing is a violent mission today, and we are going to be making our way to the outskirt road here for this violent mission. We're going to hold off on the uh, I think we're going to hold off on the story for a little bit, um, and we'll be delving into these. As we get rid of one or two is first, there is an absolute bucket ton of side stones, and I'm very interested in that. So what we're going to do is first thing first, we're going to go and have a chat with Dom, and we're going to go and order some stuff. Um, now, bear in mind, there are obviously the various uh, meal sets and things. And what I would like to do is put on some of these. Uh, particularly, I would like this one here. Um, and we're going to whack this on for everyone. Um, now, obviously, do note some people have got higher satiety than others. And some of them, of course, can use Mix It All um, to get even more speed. But uh, this should be probably sufficient for most people. So let's go ahead and order that for everyone. Nice and cheap as well. It's only 19 veal on each. It's pretty sweet. There we go. And someone gets friendships with a lot of people because of meal, set meal sets and people. Um, and then what we'll do is go on to mix it all for a year. Not you, not you, not you. Uh, for you three. And I'll give you some extra speed there as well. Cool. It's worth paying for. I think when it comes to the violent missions, I think it's well worth doing this. Because some of them are uh, pretty brutal. Pretty, pretty damn brutal. Uh, we're also going to change our roster quickly as well. I can do it in a moment, actually. Uh, if we go to the Ascot Road. Uh, there's so many side stones around. I want to grab some of these. So we are going to put on some side stones on some people. Um, I reckon we're going to put one on Albus, or the Extractors Eva. Gonna go with high purities here. We've got them to use. They're pretty, pretty decent. Um, is the heat resistant guard gonna help you much here? Hmm. If there's Nagori's, very possibly. I'm actually going to put uh, one on Haijing. The reason is, I don't think the smoke grenade is going to be particularly useful for him. And... I think two is enough. I mean, that's that's 12 uses on the field. That will probably cover most things that I want to do. That sounds good to me. Also, we are going to be running on uh, taking off limbs to growth. So let's deactivate that. And seeing as we are about five or six levels ahead of time, I'm actually going to be playing Cruel Mode here for this one. I know we've done most of these on hard, but I think given the fact that we are uh, ahead of time here, uh, we're going to play this on Cruel. Um, I can't confirm that for reasons I don't know. What the hell? Oh, it deactivated it. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, let's rock and roll, kids. Right. Oh, to being allowed to hunt freely, uh, people in the resource management district actively started to hunt beasts, as you do. 
The team is the Iron Forest divide to follow the instructions of their leader, Silver, and avoid contact with humans as much as possible. Some groups of teamers were dissatisfied with the instruction. Wait, what? Are you telling me the teamers are... Sure. So here is Ash. That's another new character. Obviously, we have met Silver before um, in a story mission way, way back. So this is your decision after... I don't know how they're communicating like this. Just try not to think about it. You are doing well. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm going to have to... There are groups that are doubting you because you were raised by a human. Now, if you remember back a long time ago in like the freeway fight between us, you had like Turk and Nam, and uh, we controlled Silver and the teamers for a bit. You may remember that uh, when we came across Silver, and specifically when Anne came across Silver, um, he ran away. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's been pretty bad. Yeah, it's been it's been pretty bad. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Someday they will understand. Freaking wise old silver over here. Hmm, I guess so. We divide into petty factions. Each group will get hunted down one by one. And leave for the group has a chance to collapse. Damn. Oh, Ash used to lead it and then silver uh, assumed control. Huh. It's the weirdest. I was gonna say this is the weirdest conversation we've had so far in this series, and I think about to all the other conversations, like Rick and Anne and the Dorori. I guess it wasn't really much of a conversation, but it was a thing. Oh man, Ash is uh, he's getting old. Damn. I'll leave the team of this forest to you once again. So yeah, energy level issues. We must pull all the beasts out of action or extract energy from Psy Stones. Please say you must at least normalize the energy level in this district in order to hunt freely. All right then, so bring down the excess energy to a normal state. We've heard about this before, obviously, in the build-up with all the, the animals and stuff around. So this is our mission objective. We are here to clear the energy. Uh, we must clear the energy uh, by hunting the Sonic monster or extracting energy from Psy Stones. You can decide whether to continue or retreat after clear all of the energy in the mission map. So basically, we got to clear the, we got to do one, and if we want to carry on to like kill everything, we can do so. Um, and retreating obviously will be uh, surviving, like before. Now, unfortunately, it's just us. We have no backup. These suppressors are just going to chill here and do a whole lot of nothing. So, yeah. How big's the map? Oh, God. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, man. This could be bad. Oh, Irene, have you got your villain board on instead of the beast board? Did I forget to change that again? I feel like I may have forgotten to change it. Over a current energy level of 93, by the way. We also, as well, while we're here, we need to obtain a skin from the Rainbow Big Dory, which is somewhere. We don't know. Teamers. We're going to be on all sorts of good, some basic teamers here. Glaciers and lightnings. All sorts of stuff. Somehow, they are not getting caught there. I'll take it. Doing something. But yeah, no police backup whatsoever. This is, um... Could cause some issues here, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little, little concerned. 
We have got nine turns of increased speed and move distance, which is going to be pretty useful here. So let's tow as much as it as we can. Get you wind veil. So I'm guessing if we kill enemies, that will the, the level will go down slightly, and if we extract some stones, it will go down more so. Uh, first things first, let's put exchange on. Exchange will probably get a load of use out of actually here as well, as we're going to be taking a lot of loot from like all the animals. Let's uh, get the um, get this on here. Oh, by the way, interesting thing I noted as well with the kill conduct concoction. So if you deactivate it, um, you deactivate the uh, the making state, but it doesn't immediately deactivate the actual level of um, unstable chemicals that you've got immediately. You do retain that for a short bit. So if you're gonna like max out, you can stop it and hold like a, a level eight, level nine sort of thing for a couple of turns, which is nice. I appreciate that. It's, um, that is not something that I actually expected the game to do. They did, so I was like, Sweet. You hear that sound? <laughs> I should do it as the game. So yeah, it's obviously night time, so no one can see particularly well. It is clear, which is good for our, for Irene. It's also still pretty warm, so vigor recovery increases by three for everyone. That's worth noting. Um, it's good for like Giselle actually as well here, so that is going to assist. Go go go! Let's just get everyone down here for now. <clears throat> also, you can see as well like Giselle's absurd sight. And bear in mind, it's nighttime as well, so she can actually see for. Oh, I need to check something. What is your vision? Your sight is seventeen. And that's the fact it's night, but she kind of overcomes that because the reinforcing scope basically negates um, basically negates the fact it's night time. So she's here, and she can see over there. That's completely, completely absurd. All right, so what we're going to do here, and what we can start doing again with Anne, which is nice, compared to um, pre you know, with the White Mage, is that I can actually use, like, my, like, uh, the starlight, um, called starlight, and uses as to buff people, giving them blessings. This is pretty neat. Gotta be a little bit careful though. This occasionally is going to backfire, so um, be a little worried about that. But yeah, these suppressors are just gonna sit there and do a whole, whole lot of nothing. Um, to be fair, it's a pretty good thing. They would probably get murdered very quick. There are so en many enemies around here. I can tell from how long it's taking to cycle the turn. Uh-oh. Well, that's... That's a thing. Oh, boy. There are so... So many turns. Oh my goodness. Right, let's get to work then. At least the uh, the opening team is aren't going to be too bad to defeat, but it's going to get worse. Of course that doesn't help. As always, the way these things go, so um, as we move uh, further in, we're going to find harder enemies. So that's going to be fun. Right. Let's get to work here. These guys are all next to each other. Useful. Beautiful. So you're going to start seeing every now and again when um, Ray gets some kills, you're going to see her uh, obviously getting off his feet. So let's have a look at the map here. So this is the edge. The river flows down here. It probably comes across furthermore this direction. I would assume it'd go like that way. By the looks of it. So I'm just trying to work out is the map going to go any particular further this left side? Not for a while. But I think eventually it will. So I feel happy getting hygiene just going down this left side cool. for now. There is a load of rocky terrain here however which looks like we can climb some of it probably. <coughs> Sorry. 
We're gonna get so many beast masteries here. It's gonna be kind of nice. Also, I do love these flowers as well, like the lighting and everything. Like the the, the map looks absolutely gorgeous. Pretty really nice. We still think we can be busy in here, but yeah, hopefully the recovery is really good. So I think a recovery here in here. Eleven a turn. That's awesome. Again, because of her, her equipment helping with that, and the fact it's warm. So this means Ray's going to be able to be... Oh, Shell's going to be able to be really, really aggressive, which is awesome. I should really put your magic acceleration. Never mind. Also, you picked up Wind Veil randomly. Nice. Shatter here, which I think is... Uh, oh, that one. Twice you missed. Good job, Isaac. He's like, come on, Irene. So you can see the energy level starting to just slowly drop a little bit here. And uh, you picked up peace. Nice. So again, we need to get Albus and Heising um, dealing with some of the sizes. But I've got to find them. And they could be, you know, pretty much anywhere. I don't really have much of a way of finding out where they're going to be either, so... And of course, like, apart from Giselle, it's going to be really hard to see what's going on around here, so I'm a little concerned about that. Hello. I don't want to get you in the water. That seems pretty bad. Let's get you across. Okay. And hopefully you don't run into carnage. You actually didn't run into carnage. Good job. Mm, I see that cobweb up there, though. A little unsettling. Add a soul. So there is actually another change I put onto Ray here, actually, which this is going to be a good example of showing off here. Uh, I'm kind of like getting more and more, trying to get more and more out of the, the concoction stuff. So I've actually given her a, another uh, mastery to the defense here, which is hideout. We've seen this on an enemy or two, I think. So at the end of the turn, uh, if you haven't taken cover and there's an adversary within line of sight, um, she will move up to four tiles to take cover somewhere, which is kind of neat. And the great thing is as well is that, uh, as you'll see here, if I throw at this uh, Dorori here, and if I don't kill it, if I don't kill it. Well, if I don't kill it. Although, to be fair, she might it might trigger stuff anyways. There comes some Yashas here. So you see Hideout kicks in, so she goes into cover randomly. But that movement also counts towards chemical concoction as well, which is pretty sweet. So I can throw. She gets one stack from that. So even if nothing happens, I get one stack from that and I get two stacks at the start of next turn. So she's getting at least three stacks every like every time that happens, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, would highly recommend. Not a... Right, let's get Heising up high here. I don't know if you can see any of them from up there. I would imagine, probably. Yeah, it looks fine. Be careful when you do this from an angle. Uh, you get a little bit of leniency for sort of the angle you can shoot at, like up and down. So you go and scan you. Yeah, I expect this to go fairly fine for now, but this is going. These guys are going to get harder and harder as we go, and that is a concern. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. We appear to have upset everyone. Kreto Mangtaba. Sort 
get a whole lot of really decent uh, masteries though, so that's nice. I'm hoping she gets another turn. She, uh, I was hoping she might count. Oh no, she's going to be in sight vision because of the draw you can see her, of course. Uh, Overwatch, please. Yeah, Overwatch does count as one of the shooting masteries as well for chain of hitting, which is really good. Right. Uh, let's get you accelerated. And I think we'll get Sarn to go along with Haijin here, I reckon. And we'll get them to kind of look okay. after each other. They'll cover each other with light attacks and stuff, so that's pretty sweet. Uh... I can't see anything. Damn. Uh, just stand by for me, please. Sorry about that, kids. Slight distraction there. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of hell on its way, and Albus is just going to have to front a lot of us. So we're just going to march him up here uh, with his Wind Veil and uh, tell him to bring it. I'm a bit worried about this dude, though. This thing's going to... Um... Damn, yeah, those droids will have lightning reflexes. It's really brutal. Uh-oh. Hunter Seal used up. She's going to need some assistance, that's for damn sure. Okay, let's get um, Anne in here. Alright,すみだ. Giving further vigor recovery to some dudes here. Um, I could starlight a few people, or I could actually go for the attack. You yeah, see, look at the damage she does now. And that's given the fact it's got a thousand. Look, the Witch's Book is giving us nearly 800 damage. It's completely crazy. Um, but I think I'm gonna continue to bless us, I think, for the time being. I'm gonna get her on just, uh, giving buffs out for the time being. But it's definitely have to play and definitely a lot differently with the witch, um, the witch stuff, but I kind of like it, you know? I do think her white mage is just better. Um, but I'd say this is a more interesting way of doing it, for sure. Right. Um, I don't really care about picking up... That's a way up. Huh. She is now heroed as well. I'm not really care about picking up the chess here, because they're still going to be of the level of, like, the level 27 sort of loot, so that I don't care. Not worth it. Let's just get to work here. Like, Arin just going ahead, doing a little bit of scouting for us here. Level 36, giving all sorts of stat boosts. Pretty good. So many enemies around here, it is nonsense. Uh don't know how much I like having you in the water, but I guess it'll be okay for now. <laughs> oh, you could get frostbit. If something like lightning hits you, you're kind of screwed. So there are some some concerns to be had here. <laughs> Beautiful. Ah, oh, well, you only hit one. Damn it. You don't... Oh, and the Dorori's picked up. Uh-oh. <laughs> I need to deal with this thing pretty quickly. If you'd be so kind, Scion, as to nuke this thing into oblivion, please. Cheers. Apricot. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, that thing is, um... It's not gonna. It's not gonna stand up to that. Strengthen for Giselle. Very nice. Okay. Very sweet. The droids are about to get turned. So Overwatching not particularly valuable here. So you can see, you can actually shoot these things' wings, which will decrease its time by sixty and slow it down. Like there's some pretty incredible targets for some of the enemies. It's awesome, you know. I think it's it's nice to have that kind of flexibility how you want to go about it. Right, I just gonna get over here. How bad is it? It's quiet. It's too quiet. Where's all these stones? Oh, there's a stone there. We've got a rock over there. Okay, cool. I need to keep an eye out for those. The more of those we hit, the less enemies that we need, uh, we need to take out. Ugh. That's not annoying at all. I 
So we are noise, which is decreasing our hit chance by 50, which is, you know, it's a lot. Yeah, good block, good job. Oh, explosive compound, plus 200 is so, so good. So I think we're going to send Irene down the right here, and she's going to do a little bit of, bit of scouting for us this direction, and particularly up here. Um, she doesn't have running, so I don't need to, like, push her in. We can go move by move. Let's see what we stumble across, eh? Okay, we got got some yashes over there, as expected. So the problem is that all these teamers are just going to rage up and then just use their special on us here, which is what makes them so, so dangerous. And that's why I've got to keep, try and keep my people away from each other, especially with the lightning teamers, because they'll just ripple flashes, and uh, that shit sucks. Good dodge. Right. Um, I'm going to need to deal with this noise. And I'll be I think the noise lasts for three turns, doesn't it? it? Does last three turns. Yeah, I can't deal with that. And hey, buffs are buffs, right? I <laughs> picked up Grim Reaper. Ha! <laughs> it's not even gonna be that useful for you, but I mean, hey, you got it right. I... <laughs> did that just say 20,000 damage? I think it did. I've not seen five figures before. That's that's pretty impressive. It's way down there. Let's go look around. Remember, Haishi does have one of our tractors. Oh, we have upset everything. So we have a choice. A retreat into a bush. But they're all gonna get hits on me. The alternative is we stand our ground. Oh, deal, Tomangan. Tell me I actually killed the big one there. Did I crit it? Wow. Haishing has uh, become very, very scary indeed. I get both of those with the uh, a spray shot here. I cannot. Damn. All right. Just uh, just go for that one then. Get that rage off of him. Damn. Damn. Down here, we got uh, venom yashes. Okay, 
how badly do I want to get involved here? I might just keep you up on the ridge for now. Scat away for me. And you're gonna trigger some stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a lot of freaking things. <laughs> Oh dear, something gets something gone wrong. There's the big Venom Yasha. We we need to uh we need to reposition here. This is uh mm -hmm. Is there a way down from here? There is not. This is a dead end. Alright. Well, if they want a piece of me, they know where I am. And we're gonna have to just rely on that. Okay. Giselle is, uh, like when she hits, she hits so hard. It's the fact that she headshots as well, like she's doing so much damage, it's pretty ridiculous. Oh, there are enemies everywhere. Well, at least I know if I ever want to, um... At least I know if I ever want to, uh... What's the word I'm looking for here? Wanna go hunting materials? Then I know the violent mission we're going to in the future. So, I guess that's good. Things are going okay so far. Level 36, yeah, 36 is definitely a big one here. See, plenty of stats, the attack mastery as well. Very, very good. Right, let's get Anne over here just to heal up Giselle. She's shot, but uh, she'll be fine. Well. Oh, you're doing this jumping stuff? So this is a thing they do when they're damaged. They'll, like, hide up here, and you can't actually hit them. It's pretty Ooh. annoying. Yeah, it's all lighting reflexes. Darkness Hunter. I've never even heard of that before. Must be something to do with being in the night. That's an angle. That's, that's good to know. Yeah, the, the Drorys, they all have inherent um, slowdown, uh, delaying on like, all their attacks. So thankfully, um, Haijeng's able to dish. deal with some of that. <laughs> Not all of it, though. Okay? Question mark? There's another bridge over here, by the way. I was gonna say, you're not gonna spot me from there? <laughs> we were just passing by. Exactly, that's exactly what you were doing. Trying to reason with the dogs. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna work. Oh, that actually can land on you, huh? That beam has some, has some interesting abilities. Uh, Very good. Down to 70 angel level, which is good. Oh, she picked up hatred. <laughs> That's not fair. Got lava drawries up here. So again, this is what you want to do basically. Is uh, with Giselle is uh, in theory you want to chain fire and then you shoot twice and then the next round. Uh, use reload and shoot twice and get four shots in two uh, rounds and if you've got the right sort of setup she reduces her time loads of all the bullets because if you're not moving um, you've got like position of eyes and stuff you pick up all sorts of time reductions but we'll chain fire next round here. <laughs> Huh, you picked up regeneration because you got set on fire. Huh. That's a pretty neat trick, that. 
Oh, because she killed it from out of its sight, I do get an extra move still. So that's, that's neat. Uh, sure, let's get rid They are coming. They are definitely coming. And unsurprisingly, these guys have got poisonous sacks. Makes sense. Right. Ray can sort of support here, actually. And I might actually get to do so. <laughs> Again, the beauty of having people that can throw, like, you can just ignore lots of, uh... You can ignore lots of uh, other issues and like get line of sight some places you normally wouldn't do. It gives so much Mega flexibility. Charyake. Really, really nice. <laughs> Good thing as well with the, the wind grenade she's currently got, it does apply a tiny bit of slowdown on enemies as well, so that's pretty neat. So you see, full Yasha skins for four frost items. That was actually probably not a good trade for me. These Yasha skins are more valuable. There's the big black Dorori. Things continue to get interesting for Haishing. Maybe I should have given him some help. We have upset the jungle. Yeah, just all the different enemy uh, beast types around here. Now, Irene is going to get poisoned here. However, because of Cauterization, she's going to continually heal from it for costing her a little bit of overdrive, which is fine. Thing is, I think uh, I do run the risk of freaking Ray getting poisoned here. You can see there. You see how they have, uh, the 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 ten reduction for all of that stuff. It's so so good. And she gets thirty reduction for kills. And she gets all of this because it's not her turn. It's like if it was her turn, it gets reduced to like 35, 40, 80, I think minimum. But yeah, it's also see. So you see how she cauterizes there. So she gets poisoned, but the poison's never going to hit. It's just because she's going to continue to cauterize it. Uh, which means she kind of i wouldn't say she ignores um like status ailments because of course you have no sp then like you are going to get affected by them but she kind of pseudo ignores them it's a bit funky <laughs> Right, Albus, 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 Albus. Let's start getting these uh, like extractions done, shall we? Got a few more up here as well. We've got a, there's a water rock there. We've got a, a small fire rock there. And so this should start getting the energy level down a bit here. Just a fragment? Ugh. Would have heard something a bit fancier, but hey. See, so yeah, so they had to lose two there. These guys are, uh, they're kind of dead. Yeah. It's, it's brutal. It is brutal. Haishing is in a spot of bother here, I'm not gonna lie. Good dodge. So I probably need to just, just pull him away here. Let's not get over let's not completely lose our minds here bingo damn see he's getting loads of crits out of him as well here comes the venom uh, the venom yasha here well, there goes the Venom Yasha. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. Oh, it's not fair. And now that plus 40 for... And this is the, this is the idea right here. She just has so... With Undefeated, she just gains so much time, gets so many turns. It's kind of absurd. And she's never losing the overdrive either, because she never quite qualifies into it because of all the, the Venom stuff. So, you know, that's a, that's a brutally bonus. Hmm, that's terrible odds. Just... Very good. Uh-oh. <laughs> I know who that is, and that's concerning. Okay, and is overcharged. Uh, we do have also have access to the pouring starlight arrows, which is the witch mastery, the, 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 the final attack here. Pretty hefty cast delay though. Um, but literally, yeah, big area around you. Um, it attacks enemies, uh, dropping 12 random starlights, dealing a variety of damage there. So, uh, you know, it's pretty neat. Yeah, I've got three turns with you as well because of the overdrive. Oh yeah, look, you can see all the rocks here is uh, wind rocks, fire rocks, all this good stuff here. Some water rock over there. What do I want to do with you? I think sitting up here can't be a bad thing. Right. Uh, yeah, I saw loads of hell up here, and I'm not particularly excited for that. So we're just gonna move away. To okay. Africa. Uh oh, Ooh, big miss. Yeah, that poison's gonna be a problem here. And you can't heavily deal with it, so Irene's kind of on her own here, I guess, for now. Which may or may not be a good thing. There's a hideout there. And again, that all counts as extra movements. Really nice. Bingo. Love how that also counts for revenge shooting, by the way. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Gotta be careful, these flame team, as we know from history, they can hit really hard. So you see, it's coming down, it heals itself a little bit. Hmm. I don't seem to recall there being this many freaking better Yashas, but uh, in any event. God, so brutal. Maybe you do have your Beast Board on. Oh no, no, it's definitely a villain, villain board. Well, it's actually doubling not too badly for this either, so I guess that's neat. 
And the great thing for this sort of thing as well is it means, so for example, if I was to use like my, uh, the, the explosion here, the explosion attack has like a cast layer of 36. If I was to use this for Irene, like I'm getting down to like 88 here. But the thing is, if I get kills of this, I recover Just all that time back. Power! So I spent 36 on the attack. But that kill gives me 30 back, so all of a sudden I'm pretty much back to where I, um, where I was initially, which is really awesome. So yeah, again, this is the whole principle of Irene's build. Just, just turn, 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 turn. You know, Merry Christmas, basically. Would like to get yourself up high if possible. Two of the headshots. Yeah. She is vicious against teamers. Amsi vicious. <laughs> you missed! I mean, I guess you're allowed. It is in Spiderweb. But yeah, again, the great thing, again, with Undefeated and, um, and such, like, you know, she's gaining a tiny bit of time from counter-attack kills, which is kind of absurd, really, when you think about it. Right. Do I... I don't think this is a place for Starlight Arrows. Unless I go adventuring, which I think I'm about to do. Don't know if this is a good idea, but it's the one we're going to make. <laughs> Calm down. It's only the big lava drawery. You know, I was actually expecting that to get a lot closer than it did. Huh. Can I constrict root with you? Okay, this is the area. It's not huge, actually. Yeah, that's some serious damage you can deal to single targets. It's pretty good. That was his overdrive. I don't know how useful that's going to be, though. Wait, wasn't Medica Albus up there doing... Never mind. I don't think the poisoning is counting towards the uh, concoctions, but it makes me a little nervous. Okay, <laughs> Keep it up. Nice, there we go. You don't have great odds on those pinter attack hits. That's pretty good what he does. Right, okay then. We do have good stuff here. Again, I don't know I really want to send you in madly, though, so let's just deal with these two and we'll, we'll re reassess them. That attack is so ridiculous. <laughs> so nuts. Again, great thing, Hijing just uh, breaks even on those. Wow, you willingly went into the fire for this attack. Fair, fair. Right. How much further did this go? Not too much. There are some chests, water rock here. Not a. There's a freaking Yasha up there, it's fine. Um, I'll be honest, I think I'm just gonna send, um, just gonna send you Investor getting up ahead here. I think it'll be all right.
This gets me. It's cool. I do feel sort of sorry for him. Kinda. So you see here again, plus 40, and all of a sudden they're, look, Irene's suddenly ready to go. You know, that is absolutely crazy. And again, down 30 for the attack. <laughs> I'll just have that all back, please, thank you very much. And then some. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Nice, There's the big black Dorori there, which I do need to deal with. That would be good. This map continues to expand out here, which is kind of insane. There's spiderweb everywhere. That is worrying. I don't know why I didn't march directly in. I'd rather not fight them in the freaking spider if I can help it. That's freaking poison, man. I've not tranced Ray yet. I haven't really felt a distinct desire to. I don't know how much I would have been able to sustain it anyway, so I think... I hope for the time being it's fine, but I might well transfer pretty shortly. Hmm. I didn't expect that. Oh, they all get regeneration because of the fire. Ugh. Four claws with fangs. I've lost money there. <laughs> Pretty much. I think is in trouble here. Um. Getting just zonal control everywhere here. <laughs> that. That was depressing. That did not go well. <laughs> Team is coming out. Right, let's extract a bit more. And I'm hoping I can gale that dude in the distance. I think I can just about see him. Yeah, you do want to actually do these things. So, like, even though you see Flame Crystal. I don't know how many crystals, because I've got the simplification, but we're probably picking up like quite a few of them. Remember, of course, the high extracts is giving us like double uh, or triple, I think, um, items from these rocks we normally would get. So it's pretty sweet. Didn't I get the So they all got like darkness hunter, which is basically making them. I think they unconditionally. Yeah, I think what it does is unconditionally all reaction fire just misses and then it's night time, which is pretty bad. Alright, Anne. Um, don't mess this up. Because I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Let's go exploring! Beautiful. Good job. Woohoo! I got an achievement. And I got a ding, because Steam interface is used to change. Ow. Look at yourself. I'll be back in the future. 35 hygiene. Very good. It's not getting to do
Yeah, Hijing is completely just trapped in here now. He is, he's in trouble. All right, we have cleared all accumulated energy, so we can continue going, and we are going to do just that. So we must defeat the leader of the beasts. I wonder who that's gonna be. Oh, Cor correction. You gotta defeat all the leaders of all the beasts. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that. I've see loads of rocks up the river, by the way. So again, we're only after the bosses. We don't have to defeat any of the uh, the minions. Though we probably should. Um, Sion, I think I need to pull you back and uh, give, give Hygiene a hand. He's... I don't have very good angles on it, though. Go, go, go! Mm. Can you ripple flash one of them? Oh, you can! Oh, beautiful. Uh, uh, yeah. Oof. Actually, in a lot of trouble though. This is all over the water, I think. This is uh, Giselle seeing all of that. Again, her sight is just completely absurd here. They definitely can't see her. Yeah, she can see like 18 different, 18 tiles away or something crazy. It's absolutely nuts. Right, so you are overcharged, of course. Earth rock. You can't do anything with that though. Um, I guess you can grab that though. What the hell? I love how Irene feels the need to do a freaking uh, a flip going down, and she like does a little twirl jump going up. It's, it's kind of cute. It's also hilarious. I know I'll say everyone's at level 35 now, which is good. A nice break point for equipment. You're still poisoned? Jeez. Not any more, but damn. We've got lightning rocks here. Look at these things. They look, they look awesome and terrifying at the same time. Yeah, there's rocks everywhere here. Fire rocks there. <laughs> Right, I think it's going to be time to start trancing Ray up now. Don't know if she can reach, though. Can you actually hit any of these dudes? Not really. I tell you what, then. Throw some healing mist down instead. That'll give him regeneration as well, which is nice. Gotta be careful though, the um these animals can definitely take advantage of that too. As we're about to start seeing here. Yep. And they get the smoke screen bonus, which isn't great. It's also actually pretty bad for Giselle too, I've just realized. Huh. Um right, I go for someone really far away. Like you, that's a lot of enemies. That is going to obviously um, upset them greatly. <laughs> oh boy, was that the best decision for me to make? Maybe it wasn't, you know. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Uh, heal. So 
you're bleeding. You're infected as well, which is making just uh, everything kind of difficult for you. You're losing vigor a turn, which is pretty bad. Killed the Yasha, but not the Dorori, which is worrying. That's gonna overcharge here. I mean, if these things will not fly Irene, then, um, cool. You didn't die to that. Good job. This thing's no tough. From just straight physical attacks, they're really hard to kill. I push ain't gonna save you, buddy. Let's just... So absurd how I read this she is now. She's just so so good. But yeah, the villain actually does not a bad job of um kind of covering all this monster stuff anyways. It's uh it's pretty sweet. I think of the big the uh the bigger rock uh, Yasha is gonna be around here somewhere. Uh, unfortunately, the, um, the somersault attack doesn't do a lot of damage because it's based off of ESP largely. Nothing to do with physical damage, which obviously uh, is what she's built on. But it doesn't mean I wouldn't ever get rid of it. It still has a lot of use. Oh boy, you're about to get stunned. Oh, it cleared immediately. Awesome. Thank God for that. You can't actually get close enough to... Huh. Didn't expect that. I mean, cool. 37%. Jeez. Bingo. Oh yeah, beautiful. Give me what I watches, please. Thank you very much. So that I can miss them to lightning reflexes. Beautiful. <laughs> I've played this game. I don't know how it works. Interesting. I thought that would have been covered by Sun's uh, mental immunity. A little dangerous, what I'm about to do here. That is a lot of dudes. Great, so what we're going to do is we're going to rely on shooting and overwatching just to get absolutely buckets of turns with Giselle and hope that this all kind of works itself out. She can sort of hold this front off for a little bit. I need a bit of time. Where of course, look at that, look at that range. Oh, it missed. No. It was the one thing we didn't want to happen. That is, um, that is a disaster. Apricot That did no damage whatsoever. That is depressing. Oh, 
There's just so many of them. You need, like, AoE stuff, and, like, I have some AoE to it, but not a ton of it. That missed everyone. That's depressing. Wow, we have serious issues here. Um... Yeah, I think we just need to hold them off here. Who need them? To Nikimi. Right, time to trance. It's time to trance here. Okay. That's a. Uh... It's a lot of spraying, and it's a lot of drugs, <laughs> pretty much. Right, I can't really deal with the team effectively here, but you guys can, yeah, you can get to work here, though. Remember, every time you kill at least one thing, you get an extra turn of overdrive. That's the whole idea, just kill, 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 keep it going. Um, and just stay overdrive for as long as possible here. There is so much hell back there. My god. Damn, I can't counterattack you. That's annoying. Camera doing things. There we go. Now it's active. So now it's, it's buffed. You need to just dodge all this. Thank you. Continue dodging. Use your height advantage. You should see all those abilities it kicked in. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so a bit of the Overwatch mist. Oh no. I think just sounds about stuck in COC as well. Oh god. It's trying. Bear in mind, the ZFC only counts for the, um... Yeah. These dudes are about to get murdered. This is bad. Please just don't do anything. <laughs> oh, I missed again. <clears throat> oh. Oh, 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 oh. All reaction fire misses. But revenge shot counts, thankfully. Okay, we'll take it. Yeah, ZOC only counts for the um, for the uh, horizontal and vertical adjacencies. Oh, I can actually kid, uh, quit after each uh, boss enemy. Okay, that's good to know. So now we're kind of back at Magenta Street and how that was kind of basically put together, which is reasonable. Well, I'm glad you think so. God, that's depressing. Of course, it's in smoke screen, so I can't headshot anything that's in smoke screen. We have problems here. We have real issues. That's a big mess. Um, hmm. Yeah, I just gotta get involved here. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> the raw victory and kind of raw victory. Awesome. Oh, I really need that to land because you're not going to be able to kill this in one hit. Oh, now she's going to get dumped down. Jeez. I can't even get past the ZOC. God damn it. I think. 
Yeah. Get some buffs going. Again, there's a random chance it could be a random debuff. And there's some bad ones. Sleeping, fear. Some pretty, there's some pretty gnarly stuff it can be. Up here to be honest, and just uh, just get high. Let's do that. Okay. Is it a waste of overdrive? Maybe. I think discretion's the better part of our here. We picked up Grim Reaper. Oh my god. That's so reckless. How much range? Excuse me? Wow. That. That is ridiculous. 18 cracked obsidians. Ooh. Can make a lot of a lot of rare shit out of gems out of that. Very nice. But yeah, occasionally you're also, it's a very small, I think it's like 5% or 10% chance that when you get the equivalent exchange, it'll exchange it for a rarity higher than what it currently is. So that's pretty neat. Pajara! Bad boys are pretty resistant to just all sorts of attacks. Right, these guys have used up their ripple flashes, yeah. so yeah, we can just have out of here. Thunderbolts. Taking the target lightning attack, 20% trigger the stun. Hmm. I know someone might be interested in that. <laughs> Man. There's so many things going on with, uh, with, with Ray there. It's beautiful. <laughs> Oof. Of course, Giselle is going to be the obvious target here. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all of that good stuff. Ow! That's a serious hit. Unfortunately, although he gained 30, he lost 60. That was pretty bad. Do I just keep heading, sending you in here? There are, my god, there are so many rocks here, by the way. Holy Christ. That's pretty nuts. Right, let's keep getting Irene in here and see what else she finds. Something's upset. Oh god. Oh no. That's that is a problem. You know, it's not even, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. Ooh, it's faith. You know, faith for all of that magic casting uh, that uh, Giselle's doing. I think the move is get over here. I'm a butake. And again, we're going to reload so we get access to chain fire immediately. So use And again, because you're overcharged, none of this requires any vigor. It does require a lot of cast later. This costs 10. Um, oh, chain fire doesn't cost any castle anymore? Oh, nice. And what we can do is we can shoot. Not you. Uh, not you. Not you. You. 
Fortunately, again, they are immune to the smoke screens protecting from headshotting, which is not ideal. And you see, look at this 40 time units regained there, so we were at 70. Now she's at 36. Oh, God. Uh, and now we can uh, get them like that. Beautiful. And yeah, in theory, she now has that. Like, you see that in theory, she's like, she got like freaking 60 time units. Isn't ridiculous? Obviously, she can't get that many. Because that would be like, she's turned in either. You can see there, like, it's, the, I think 35, I'm pretty sure, is the absolute minimum. Also, hello. <laughs> oh, this regeneration stuff. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. This is causing all sorts of issues here. I feel like I've made mistakes. These ashes are, like, kind of following us, but not doing much else. There's Ash over there. Freaking 3,400 health, legendary. That is going to be um, a problem. <laughs> you know, I might actually use this. Yeah, the great thing with Haijin, because of all his abilities, is that all of his stuff has very little cast lace. Even a dash of gunfire cast lace, just eight. Which is absolutely nothing. Good stuff. Whereas normally for people that would like slow you down like 50, 60, 70 units, like I just like, eh, it's eight. I can afford that. Right, so we have issues. I might try stunning the Dorori here. Uh, we do have a power kick on Ray, which isn't a throwing attack, so it doesn't uh, consume any concoction. So occasionally it's worth doing this instead and just building up a little bit more. There we go. Ah, oh, of course it's massive. I was trying to do it to stun it, but of course that's not going to work. But it's been massively slowed though. So that's nice. I think it's not getting a turn for uh, for quite a while, so that's pretty good. Right. I'm a bit nervous about advancing here. Oh, no. <laughs> I've run into the other one. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I'm just gonna... Yeah, just, 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 just walk away. <laughs> walk away from that. Let's not, let's not get too involved there. Right, I'm a bit worried that Ash is going to start uh, aggroing here. He's not triggered yet. We only on the periphery of our our sight. I do have a special hit for you. Get over here. Good. Can ten and some picking go? Should castle over this? Funny nine. It's not great. You got shim majimagia. None come here. Just wanted to make sure that was going to die there. And you can see there the time reduction for uh, Ray there. That's a part of her uh, benefit uh, sets here. I'll quickly show, uh, I think it's, uh, one of these? Which one is it? Markmanship? Nope. One of these gives her, like, um, it's offering benefits. I can't remember which one it is. Blind spot? I don't know, but one of these is, like, giving, like, benefits. Oh, no, it's her freaking, it's not that. It's a freaking individual thing. Hold on. I'll show this up because I want to make a point of this. Uh, her, um... It's something. But anyways, we've got a time reduction for rain, so great. Um, now, what the hell am I doing here? I guess we're just trying to kill this thing. Nice, bro. Of course, Anne also debuffs as well as uh, Ray, which is pretty sweet. This could be bad. 
Oh yeah, Ash is um, he's uh lurking. <laughs> Little things are just gonna keep webbing up here. They're like they want to engage, but they're like, you attack her first. No, you do it. Like, eh. Someone's gotta go for it. The ice yash is there. The rock, the gasher, I think it is, is around somewhere. It's all kinds of uncomfortable. Yeah. So as you can see here, normally we do 234 damage, but. We are guaranteed to crit this for nearly four times that. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty good. Right. I'm not looking forward to this. Well, it's not triggered yet, which is good. Let's try and do some damage here. That's not good hit chances, but whatever. Mega Freaking spider web, man. Wow, good job. There we are. Oh, Ray's wasn't at 35 yet, but she is now. I need to get some extra experience on you. She's really gaining more of it though, because now Ray is a lot more aggressive, and not much more of a killer. She's gonna get hold of the, um, the extra experience with that stuff, so that's pretty good. Whereas, like, if you're like Anne for something, sometimes your experience gaining can be a bit low because you're just getting the ancillary stuff. Right then, I guess let's do this. It's in web. I can't really attack it. I need to lure it out. And let's just counter punch it. That's not bad. Right, so San's here. So this situation has now resolved itself, which is good. I don't think there was anything much else down there. So I think we can start moving Sion back over this direction. He is suffering from slowdown, though. So he's losing... He's lost 30 speed for the next few couple of turns. That's pretty bad. Here comes Ash. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Freaking free straight. Wow. That's pretty brutal. <laughs> oh, what can you do about that? Not a lot. We got the Predator's sense of hearing. Uh, taking damage to an enemy of lower HP gives you 50% dodge. That's pretty good. Wow. That was um and that's that's the beauty of Albus. Like when he pays off, he gets to do stuff like that, and it's awesome. Obviously, it doesn't always work out like that, but uh, when it does, you are laughing. We do have um, the extractors and hygiene, so I should really look to be used of that. That is the shit, not cheap. So, what boss have we got left then? We know there's a, an ice yasha. We know there was the electric one? What? One? I'm missing a boss, is the concern. Here's the plan. It's going to take a couple of hits, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oof. That's a monster block. But I think it's got second heart, doesn't it, this? I think one of these do. Oh, 
Wait, there's a freaking... That's a... That's a long way up. My god, I didn't even know that was a thing. Apparently it is. That's so high! Makes me. I'm sorry too, Anne. I'm so sorry. <laughs> makes, me, makes me sad. So everything we can see is dead. Uh, apparently, there's something over here though. So uh, let's go. Let's go adventuring, shall we? Trying to like resolve my team. My just cells exhausted. And all sorts of good stuff. It's bush everywhere here. Ooh, a couple of this. Feels like a trap could be forming here. Irene's freaking just going down this far side here. Has been a journey. There's still two bosses, and the thing is, I don't, I don't really know where the heck they are. Useful. Again, there's our oh, rocks just freaking all over the place. It's kind of absurd how many there are, actually. Um, I just need to restore vigor here. Look, Piero, you don't get that. I think he's only recovering one, I think. Oh no, he's gonna be recovering four? Recovering six? Okay, that's not too bad, actually, then. I guess we can just push you on. Jones, I'm taking that. Right. What have we got? It's a monster. Young Sergeant Kiss. Also worth knowing as well, we've still not picked up this rainbow big Dorori skin either. Um, I don't know where that's hiding. I got a couple of guesses where I might be able to find them. I think of it, there was this really high section up here, right? I don't think you'd be hiding up here, would you? Right, so we are making our way up this mountain top. Apparently, there is something up there. I got a beep a little while ago. I don't know what's up here, though. But I can only guess. No, I got it. It is, it is some freaking trek up here, though. Like, it is so far. There's only one route up here. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. Well, there's where the rock Yasha ran to. I was wondering where that went. Right, here it comes to engage. Uh-oh. Oh, what a miss. Oh, it's just so... <laughs> It's not fair, is it? Huh, evening at night. 50% uh, Earth SP gain. It's pretty sweet. Well, there's one left. It's gotta be here, right? It's an enemy. There's no one I was expecting to see. I think that's our rainbow jewelry. No, something's not right. It's a rainbow jewelry, but it's not. It's not the right one. Let's 
but that's just a normal, normal thing. It's just suspicious, this. These are pretty tough, by the way. Not tough enough, but... You hibernate. Right, so it's down. Oh no. I think this is what you can best describe as a problem. God, I hate it when I'm right sometimes. Right, so we're about to have a um, some issues, and I need to work at how not get how to not get Irene killed here. I'll be honest. I don't know. <laughs> I probably I could have waited, I suppose, a little bit. Let people get a bit closer before sending Irene up there, but I mean, this is the this is the decision in life we've taken, everyone. We're here now. Although, Anne, I'm not going to lie, you might want to hurry up. <laughs> Making full use of that bounding, leap bounding strife um, st uh, st stuff we've got on, on Anne here. Full use of it. I don't think you're going to get there in time, are you? I think Albus is just on extraction duties here. So, my suggestion to you is going to be get over here and hide. Okay. And maybe, like, the big Drury just kind of forgets that you exist. That'd be, that'd be swell. I do like they get a little cutscene, though. <clears throat> let you know you fucked up. Hoping Giselle might be able to get an angle on them, but uh, not to be. But she's going as fast as she can. Be fair, so is everyone. Right. Here comes the fun. What the? Okay, sure. Hmm. You do that, buddy. That is that is not what I was expecting. <laughs> So we're all going to make just a whole load of attacks here. Arin's in some trouble here. How? Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot believe the big one just charged off the side at freaking San. Like, absolute madness. I can jump down that just normally? Wow, I'm impressed. I guess they can. Hmm. You 
he's completely zoned as well. Oh, that's a problem. Right, so... Grab that, and then I think I need to do something about this situation. Um... Oh, God, you hit so poorly. all the way up here now. She might as well just keep going, I think. God, there are so many side stone rocks around, though. My goodness. Unsurprisingly, Irene has not got any actions yet. Yeah, she's going to be completely bogged down up there. It's going to be pretty bad. Um, I took off um, the stuff from Ray as well. The unstable stuff, because I would have just long since it would have detonated by now. A bit worried about enraging all of them, though, but. Oh, I just straight missed it. Damn. Ugh. Flash it's pretty good to me. Yeah, unsurprising that thing is tough. Hatred. Oh my god. I see, so all these things hibernate is standard. That's um that's a pretty clever little trick. It's frenzied, it's got hatred, it's got rage. Oh my god. Mm. I need to I need to get the hell away from that thing. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. Right, and I actually made it up here to assist, which is impressive. I didn't think this was going to happen. It's put an acceleration for you. I should have put this on earlier, and I forgot. I'm just so not used to having acceleration on that. It's so weird. It's just really bizarre to me. Damn. Unfortunately, there's no full storm on anything that um, she does here, but uh, she's got counters. We'll start at least pouring back some time here, I guess. It's freaking this hibernation stuff. They do get the kill, though, like, um, for getting out of action, it does count. That is outrageous that you can do that. that outrageous. Alright, Ray. Um Can you debuff that thing? You've got graffiti. 
충분해 맡겨줘 That's so cruel That is so cruel What in the... Wow, the camera did interesting things. <laughs> oh, dear. So, I'm assuming that this is also going to just go on to hibernation, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Makes about sense. And that is it finished off. <laughs> I'm going to just spend a quick little bit of time just gathering some bits and pieces while I could. Um, I ran up to level 37. Good job. Oh. I've been looking for this. Several class masteries need this specifically. Very good. Uh, I mean, sure. I think there's only like one dude left, anyways. Yeah, teamers, yashas. We'll finish them off. All right, we're done, everyone. I should have just retreated. That took forever. <laughs> I started watching my video on the side. Oh boy, it took over two hours. Jeez. It's, um, it was a thing. I mean, it's a hell of a grind spot. I just want to give that. Look at all this. Oh, you want to see all the loot we just picked up here? Oh, yeah. Five perfect obsidians. We've got a hundred savage claws. 72 fangs. My god. I. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is that is a lot of those. Wow. That shit's expensive to buy as well. Oh my god, I got the red flag from the droid! 50 ESP power. Taking a critical strike um, from an enemy grants you a random rage state. Wow. That's pretty awesome. 100 bones. These things are worth a good money. Uh, skins as well. By the way, just a note, if you can like, make this stuff and craft it and sell it, you do make a decent profit. Look at all these gems he picked up, man. My god. Oh, yeah. I know I'm coming for grinding in the future. Also, yeah, 112 enemies. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, that was that was long, kids. Um, a lot of that is not going to see the video, I'm pretty sure. But hey, it was uh, a fun experience, and uh, you know, glad to have done it. Uh, we have got a quest to cash in. I suppose I should probably go do that. Who wanted it? It was you. There you go. We got it. Thank you. What did you offer me? Uh, I can get that later. Think about this. 40 bombs are good, but I can really do with the metal parts. 10 evil monster skins is. It's about the same value. These, I think, would be useful for like really high level gear, like level 45, 50 stuff. I think you're going to want some of this stuff, so I'm going to take some of that. Oh, really? Bebo? Who's that? Let me guess. Yeah. Yeah. That is now our third civil rescue. 
and they're all in Starlight Junction. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oh man. I got all this to sort out, by the way. That's gonna be fun. I'll do that in a second. Uh, I've got a million pieces of equipment as well. So thinking about it, like, Anne's already got the, the fox tail though. The fox charm. I'm happy we're to have that. So I guess the red flower is going to... You... This is pretty useful, though. 50 ESP power and random rage state whenever you take critical strikes. The problem is, if you take a critical strike, you're going to live. That's a concern. I'm not I'm not fully convinced you're going to. Which means, in theory, I'd want to give it to you. Oh, but that frag grenade is really useful. I'll think about it, kids. It, it's a problem for me to sort out, and I'll resolve that later on. I need to spend some time going through, like, people's equipment and stuff anyway, so... I'm gonna resolve all that. Don't you worry about it. I'll, uh, let you know what happened at the end, basically. Oh, uh, goodness me. So what on earth are we doing next? Um... This is just loading up more and more and more, but, uh... I think I'm gonna hold off this just a little bit longer here. I think next time... But there's the island dock here. We've got some, some reinforcement drives to grab. And uh, we haven't been here before as well, so that'd be kind of neat. Besides, we know this is going to be just mayhem now. And I'm kind of I'm kind of hideously looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. <laughs> I might even do this first. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, folks, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time.